I need to repeat myself with these videos because there's always new people that stop by and some people don't care for my channel. <laughs> That's been made clear. I don't mean to laugh. It's, it's not fun. It's just a lot of people really are full of pride and a lot of people just, they haven't researched anything and, and they come on here and they're like, why are you talking about that celebrity I like so much? I don't make these videos in any kind of hate. Like I've said before, brothers and sisters, you understand this. Like when doing this, I think about what God thinks of things, right? I, I don't want to be a false accuser or slanderer or any of that. I show signs, symbols, and agendas that I've noticed go on in this world. And I'm showing that daily by showing the actual signs, symbols, and agendas. And they're antichrist. People don't like the word satanic. But if you are not for Jesus Christ... You are antichrist. You are against him. You're on your way to hell. Why would God send good people to hell, right? People have questions like that, but they haven't read the Bible for themselves. They don't seek the truth with all heart, mind, soul, and strength. We live in a fallen world where Satan is actually the quote-unquote small g, God of this world. And some people realize that and they benefit of it. Like they're not benefiting in the long run because heaven and hell are real. And that's a big part of why I do this channel. I do not want people to go to hell. People joke around about it. Celebrities joke around about it. It's not a laughing matter. It's not a joke at all. Jesus preached about hell. And he does not want us to go there. In this video, I'm titling it, Are They Dancing with the Devil? All the people we're going to look at in this video are professional dancers, whatever that means. Frankie Grande is Ariana Grande's brother. He's very openly, pridefully homosexual, seen here, if you haven't figured that out very much yet. So he has pride of sin, and that is a problem in this world. What do you know? He covers one of his eyes with something, doing the eye of Horus, yawn. He's dressed up like a woman. God does not want a man to dress up like a woman or alter themselves in any way to be, be feminine. He doesn't want women to alter themselves to dress up like a man. He doesn't want the world to do this. Not just Frankie Grande here. He doesn't want all of us to do this. Some Christians are saying, don't listen to the world. Listen to God and his word, the Bible. That's what Christians want. Most true Christians, they care for people. They want to tell them the truth. Even if people don't like hearing the truth, you know, it's it's a free world. Well, it's, it's not a free world, but, right? People can get on YouTube with a channel and start talking about things and and see if people will follow and see if people will fellowship with them. I really appreciate you brothers and sisters because it's not it's not a good feeling to be alone. And there's been times in this community and there's been times in the last couple of years where I I felt pretty alone because right my eyes were being opened to what the biblical world is and I'm grateful and blessed for that. I really, you know, I wouldn't want it any other way. I would not want to go back to sleep if you know what I'm saying. But it's also very hard at times because so many people are on the big broad path in life and they don't care. They don't want to research. They don't want to like open their eyes to what the biblical world is and what that means. They don't think about eternity. Speaking of that, here's Frankie Grande and he looks like he's in the flames of hell. I do not want this person to go to hell. I want this person to be saved and be a Christian and pick up his cross and fight the good fight with other Christians. It is hard to do that in this world because people think it's hateful. Pointing out the truth about hellfire forever is not hateful. It's a, it's a warning. Most Christians that are on YouTube that have these channels in the truther community, we're trying to be watch men and watch women on the wall, warning people about Jesus coming to get us and warning people about if you don't have Jesus, you're in a very bad position. Terrence Lewis, it looks like he's pretty dressed up here, some kind of Indian dancer, and he's doing the Utara Bodhi, like, right? Is this just a coincidence? All these people are resting their hands like this every day? No, no, it is not a coincidence. Uh, Remo D'Souza, he's throwing up the sign of success, which is one, six, two, six, three, sixes. That's what that is. I do this. It just means A-OK. -okay. Do you put it over your eye like this? And do you do it again like this? Probably not, right? A little suspicious? No, it's just nothing. Uh, Ridey or Reedy Chic, she has 1 million subscribers on YouTube or social media or whatever that is. 
and she puts something over her eye doing the Eye of Horus, and she puts something over her eye doing the Eye of Horus, one-eye symbolism, and she's doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra with her hands there. Gianni Sperti, he's a dancer, he's doing the Eye of Horus, darkening one eye utterly. And who is this brought to us by? The people that hide their hands in their coats, and that would be Freemasons. Freemasonry is a problem. Some people are in Freemasonry and they don't understand what I'm talking about because they're probably pretty low-hanging fruit. If you move up in degrees in Freemasonry, you seek light and more light and yet more light. This light that they're seeking, the big secret, it's the false light of Lucifer. Lucifer means light bearer and Lucifer is Satan's name before the fall. Satan is the enemy of God and Christians and the enemy of everyone, in fact. He wants to take you to hell with him. Freemasons think they get by in life and they're going to spend eternity, what, having a party or something? This is serious business. I do joke around. Why? Because God made a sense of humor for things and we need to joke around to stay sane in this biblical world. And a lot of this stuff is kind of like, it's repetitive and they do goofy things and it's kind of stupid and goofy sometimes. I really love the <coughs> atheists. They're the, some of the goofiest people out there. Brothers and sisters, you know, I've been doing this channel for many years and I basically do it daily. Sometimes I need a little break with things and things happen in life that get stressful and right, we all deal with things. But again, brothers and sisters, you're my eternal brothers and sisters. We can get to know each other in fellowship forever. It'll keep going. We will be with our Lord Jesus Christ and our Father. We will be in heaven, a new heaven, new earth. We'll have new glorified bodies that won't get sick or die or have pain. God says he's going to wipe away all our tears. These are amazing promises from God that I want people to imagine in their brain so they can go, yeah, you know, that would be nice. And like, you know, I still worry about things because it's hard to turn that off, but I don't worry about a lot of things I used to worry about because God's got this. And I sometimes I don't have the confidence in always saying like, I'm in heaven. But like, I don't want to be, I don't want to be like puffy about it, but I, I, I fully 100% believe in Jesus and his death, burial and resurrection. According to the scriptures, I know this is true. The world doesn't want you to know that and mocks it all the time and makes light of God and does everything but point people in the direction of Jesus Christ and salvation and forgiveness and definitely don't want people to read the Bible. That's just an old book written by crazy people, right? Prophets and apostles, what are you talking about, right? It's, it's, it's Holy Spirit written and inspired. It's the Word of God, and it's what we're living right now. What am I always saying in these videos? The world is biblical. That means the Bible is true and Jesus is true. The unfortunate part, all the other stuff there is true as well. All the horrible stuff about how... This world is run by the small g god, Satan. A lot of people are sold out and don't care if they go to hell when they should care about going to hell. I don't want to wish hell upon my worst enemy. It can be very hard to forgive some people in this life, but I want to do that because I've been forgiven much by God, and I don't take that for granted. Brothers and sisters, I'm preaching to the choir with you guys most of the time. We agree on a lot of things, not everything, and that's fine. We can still be brothers and sisters, but there are wolves in sheep's clothing, which makes it very concerning, which makes it very messy, especially for baby Christians coming into the faith, and they, they look to someone, oh, this guy's talking about Jesus. He must be a Christian and telling the truth. And you need to use discernment, like you really need discernment daily, full armor of God, every single second of every day, right? This world does not take a break from deception. Deceptions are rampant. They are humongous. And some of the deceptions, you know what I mean, they're like too big for people to believe that that's a deception when really, no, that's like Satan is a very good liar. He's called the father of lies by God. He's the original liar. There's no truth in him. He wants to take people to hell right? I guess people get fame, fortune, and success, barely that Some in some cases. All of that stuff is worthless. We're told in the Bible to store up our treasures in heaven where moth and rust and things like, and no one will break in and steal, right? Brothers and sisters, everyone else, God bless you.